Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this little one. How sweet is this? It's a darling little envelope punch board project. Um, I'm not going to undo my knot because A, I got it done up um, and B, I probably wouldn't ever get it done undone again. But it opens at the top. You can just see the envelope lip there. You'll see it when I finish it. Um, but I really like it. So I'm going to show you how to make it. First thing you need is a piece of cardstock, five and a half by five and a half inches which is 14 by 14 centimetres. And that means you can get, oh, two of these from a sheet of cardstock, no problem. Then you need your stamp. Now this is Soft Sky. I went for Bermuda Bay on this one. I'm going Soft Sky with this one, but I'm inking it with Night of Navy. No idea what it's gonna look like. We'll have fun together and work it out. And then I've got my Falling Flowers stamp set. Really lovely stamp set. And I just wanted to use it for no other reason than it was there and I could. And it's beautiful so you know that's a really good reason too so ink up your stamp and oh that's a bit special isn't it that's really rather lovely and just randomly stamp across it and do take a, a moment to think about where you're stamping um, start by putting in big bits first And then kind of fill in your gaps, really. There we go. Pretty, pretty. And while I've got this out, actually, I've got my strip of cardstock. Um, and I, I've got it there, but I haven't written down the size of it. So I'm going to do it this way. I've got my ink out and I've got my thankful thought stamp set. I'm going to go with thank you which is this one. So how do I line up when I don't want to use my stamp and magic because I'm really, really lazy? Line up, I'm going to have to raise this chair. Last video, I forgot to raise it. There we go, that's better. Line up your block on your grid paper and then line up your words against the lines that you can see through. Ink up your block. No, ink up your stamp. Oh, look, I've got Knight of Navied and line up your cardstock and then that's a pretty much a straight line so this is how I work when I'm deciding how big I want my piece of cardstock to be um, I'm going to bring that into my trimmer and that is turning out to be oh I'm going to say 2.2 centimeters which is seven eighths of an inch Pretty, love it. Okay, move those out of the way. <laughs> Marvellous, that's going to be in the next bunch of videos too. Okay, snip off a bit and to flag tail, cut down the middle and then join up your lines and that'll give you a lovely flag tail. How cute. Right, let's clear this out. I should have got rid of that first. Silly me. Because we want to make this envelope punch for a project, don't we? And you know what? I've got my stamping scrub to one side. I'm going to clean my hand. If you haven't seen a stamping scrub, um, oh, apparently I need to clean my stamping, mist, stamping scrub as well. So you've got a stamping scrub like this. You've got two sides to it. It hinges closed. Mine's always open and it's got these little rubber feet so it doesn't move around. One side has got raindrops in a little cutout corner there. And the other one has got a sunshine. So you spray your stamping mist on there, which is what I've just done. Spray your stamping mist. Rub your hand. Like that. Or your stamp and then in the dry side like that okay let's begin this project so with a punch board project to make a box you need to put your markings in on two sides so sorry two punch and scores on each side so we're going to punch and score at two inches and four inches which is five and ten centimeters once you've done the first ones you use your scored line as a guide for the next ones. Okay. So 
so all the time I'm using my scored line, which I now can't see because it's typically underneath that knight of navy. There we go. <laughs> it was right underneath a knight of navy uh, stamped image then. Okay. Round off your corners. Can anybody else tell that my light is rapidly going? raise my chair too much. That's better. So fold and burnish all these score lines. And it's a rectangular box. Let me bring the original in. So you need to have it so you've got the wider triangles facing you front and um, front and back. I shouldn't say front and centre, front and back. Um, so cut into those triangular parts to the left and right. And then the same on the opposite side. And it's going to close up like that. That's going to fold over. It's going to stick there, stick there, and then that's going to be our lovely little box. So. Where's my glue gone? Did I put it away? Did I tidy myself up? Haha, oh, I've always got a tidy office, except when I'm filming. And I put all my inks and stamps away, but I tend to stack my rubber stamps to the left of me. Um, and I just leave all the little bits that I've cut out and they're all scattered around my desk at the moment. And my glues, after I've used them once, I know I'm going to be using them again, and they tend to sit around my desk too. Okay, so sides in, there we go, and so that's how it will open. So that's where you put your little goodies and treats in there, and beautiful gingham ribbon to match. And it's Knight of Navy to match, the, sorry, yeah, to, to match. Well, it wasn't matching some Soft Sky, was it? It was to match the Knight of Navy stamping. And I want my knot off to the side a little bit so I can put that thank you on. A knot I can tie, anybody can tie a knot. <laughs> oh, what did I do with my thank you? There, oh, I've just stuck my finger on that ink. That stamp. I can't pick it up. There we go. And then I just want some adhesive down this end because obviously it's going to stick off a little bit. So that tucked under there. And that flag might be a little bit long, but we'll leave it as it is. It's fine. Nice little gift. You can imagine that with some nice little handmade chocolate truffles or something in there. That would be lovely. Oh, ooh, I think I've just had an idea to find somebody to make me some now. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.